Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Ish. Welcome back to another video. For those of you that are new to my channel, Just Money, I pretty much go over financial topics such as credit, money, real estate, loans, etc. So if that's something you are into, you're going to want to definitely subscribe. But in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to build your credit. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. So I recently made a video on this topic already, but a lot of people are asking me to make a more in-depth video on this topic. So here we go. Okay, so first and foremost, let me explain why you want to have good credit and what are the benefits of having good credit. Reason one is you get lower interest rates on credit cards. And by getting a lower interest rate, that means you're paying less on the money that you borrowed. Reason two, you get a lower interest rate on home loans, car loans, home equity loans, student loans, motorcycle loans, and even boat loans, yes. Reason three, the better credit score you have, the higher your credit limits will become. Reason four, it can sometimes help you get a good job because some jobs do require you to have good credit. And a quick example of that would be something like a financial planner, a lawyer, an accountant, and even if you want to work at the casino. Moving along to reason five, having good credit is a essential when you are trying to rent out an apartment. So definitely want good credit for that one. Reason six, also if you are trying to rent a car. Reason seven, if you have good credit, you can buy a car with no money down or you can definitely lease a car with your credit. So you definitely need credit. Reason eight, it helps you get car insurance at a lower rate. So Get those credits up, people, because you want that lower rate on that car insurance because it cost out here. And I'm sure you guys know this. And last but not least, reason nine, it could even help you get a cell phone or help you get utility bills such as light or gas for you guys' apartment or home. Okay, so now that we talked about the benefits of having credit, now let's start talking about how you're going to build your credit. Okay, so I know a lot of people suggest getting a secured credit card to start out with, but there's actually a lot of different ways you can go about this. One of the ways to go about this is by getting a co-signer on an installment loan. For those of you that are familiar with what an installment loan is, it's pretty much a loan to where you're making fixed payments that's under contract every month. It can be as little as a couple months, all the way up to even 30 years. Uh, a couple examples might be a student loan, mortgage loan, auto loan, just stuff of that nature. So getting a co-signer on an installment loan can help you bypass the need to even get a secured credit card. And what do I mean by co-signer? Well, let's say you want to buy a car. Well, if you don't have the credit, you can get someone to be a co-signer on that loan. It could be a friend, a family member, etc. And that means that the co-signer is liable for the loan, but you benefit from being on the loan because of the payments are being reported to your credit report. And after a few months of making your payments on time, you will then start to build your credit. Then you can apply for a traditional unsecured credit card. The way that I got credit when I first started was I got a small student loan, which is considered an installment loan. I believe it was for around roughly $900-ish. So when I took out that student loan, aka installment loan, I had credit and when I paid it off, I got even more credit. I then immediately started to get credit card offers, so I started applying and that's how I got my first credit card. Also another way to start building is someone to add you on their credit as an authorized user. It could be a friend, parent, etc. Just anybody that has good credit already. I remember I added one of my friends on my credit. He didn't really have credit, but since I added him on my credit as an authorized user, since I got good credit, his credit was already up because it was pretty much my credit and then he was able to apply whatever whatever and it didn't affect me in any kind of way so he was already doing his own thing and then putting stuff in his own name so his credit then started to build just because I gave him like a little piggyback ride so that's another way you guys can start building credit and for the person that adds them as an authorized user so in that case it was me that was adding my friend as an authorized user him missing payments won't affect me me missing payments it will affect him so yeah that's pretty much another way you can add someone as an authorized user and then they can slowly start building their credit getting their own credit cards making their own payments it gets reported back to the credit bureaus their credit will start to rise just know not all credit cards that offer authorized users report it so make sure you call the credit card to find out if they do report it to your credit report and also make sure that the person who is adding you does not owe a lot on their credit card make sure that they have good credit and make sure that they don't owe any high balances or another way is opening up a checking account opening up a checking account will not help you build credit however it does build a relationship with the bank and therefore make them more inclined to offer you a credit card but ultimately the last resort I would just 
say is to just get a secured credit card. The way a secured credit card works is you put a secured deposit and let's just say for example $300. If you put a secured amount of $300, the credit card company will then give you a credit card with a credit limit of $300. The only thing is you can't touch that secured deposit you put down. Now the reason for that is so in the event that you do not pay your credit card debt, the credit card company will then keep your money. However, you can use the credit card and start building your credit. And with all the payments you're making it on every month, it will then get reported to the credit bureaus, therefore building your credit. Here are some tips if you want to get a secured credit card. Make sure you get one with no annual fee. Look for a secured credit card that automatically offers to increase your limits. Also make sure that they allow you to graduate from secured to unsecured. And last but not least, make sure they offer to give you your deposit back. And that's pretty much it everybody, that's how you build credit. I already made a video like this a while back, but people wanted me to make a more in-depth video about it, so here we are. I hope this information was very helpful. If you guys want to know more about credit, I do have more videos on my channel about credit, if you guys want to check that out. If you guys made it to the end of this video, I truly do appreciate you guys and at the time of this recording we now hit 240 subscribers so we're growing pretty quick so I just want to thank everybody for that. I hope you guys found this information helpful and please use your credit responsibly. I really make these videos to help empower you guys so please do the right thing with your credit. And real quick let me plug this in depending on the time you're watching this video I will be a licensed real estate agent out here in the state of California so if you guys are looking to buy or sell a home I'll leave all my information in the description below and I also do have a podcast where you'll receive great life advice I'll link that down below too but if you guys made it to the end of the video I truly do appreciate you guys and I'll go ahead and see you guys next video